Hello Internet, welcome back to our Apartment Rat series. We, in the previous episode, we checked out this hardware store and we found a toolbox, which is pretty much the best thing we could have hoped for to find in the hardware store. We're out and about already. I don't know if it would be beneficial to head up to this gun store. The problem is with the, well, a couple problems. Number one, there's a pool right here, which means we could run into a lot of swimmers. Uh, and I don't know evolution wise if biters will spawn the um, are they man gators or something I don't know the upgraded version of the swimmer I don't know if they'll spawn in the early game or not because they're not like super tank level enemies so they might have slipped into the lower level the lower level lists uh, so that's problem number one and problem number two is we haven't cleared anything around it at all and the actual sawing of the building can take several hours and can produce a lot of noise so right now it's 8 p.m i think we have plenty of time to do it it's just we're going to run away as soon as we encounter anything dangerous we're also going to pick up it's a wheelbarrow okay that's interesting i didn't know there were wheelbarrows uh, I would rather have a shopping cart. They're both wheelbarrows. Okay, and the wheels are pretty damaged on both. Not good. <sighs> Is there any way to repair? It's too dark to see what you're doing. Okay. So this, the entire thing is damaged, and this one, it's just the wheel. We'll grab this. I'm not super convinced we're going to keep it. Uh, because if it loses a tire or something, we are going to bail on it. And with the density, why is our vision reduced some? Oh, we were poisoned as well in the previous episode, despite the fact that we didn't actually see the enemy, I don't think. It still managed to explode and gas us. Skills look pretty all right. Character's doing pretty well, actually, I think, for being on day two. We already have a forge. Is it day? There's no way that it's day two this is messed up because we were on way past day two uh, we've slept multiple times in this series so that's probably related to the turn timer change uh which is interesting you'll see now as we move it only one to two turns is actually ticking up or i'm sorry seconds is actually ticking up uh, which is a change it used to be six so we see two shocker zombies where way way far away why can't we see the terrain around them don't they because they produce light you would think whatever we're just gonna head north uh we're gonna have to pass by the pool unfortunately and try to keep on the sidewalk and road to prevent us from slowing down in the tall grass and things almost there this is the pool i assume there's a swimmer sexy sexy swimmer zombies uh, of course. Oh God, slavering biter. Distorted and swollen human body, its jaws have elongated into a crocodile-like snout, dripping with foul-smelling saliva. So that's literally what I was just talking about. Um, actually the man gator or whatever is the highest tier, and then this is the intermediary tier, I believe. Really don't want to fight this thing, because uh, they have a very high chance to bite you. Let's see if we can go around the back and lure them this way because we don't want them to just walk up on us when we're trying to saw through the front door. We are going to have to fight some of them to clear the area a little bit. Man, you are right on my tail, huh? Oh, I really don't want to fight you. You're going to bite me a lot. We're going to release the wheelbarrow. Check our encumbrance. We're in pretty good fighting condition. Our hands are extremely encumbered. What is on our hands? Rubber gloves. Yeah. Okay. That thing's pretty fast as well. Hit your right leg, you're bleeding. I guess they also deal cut damage. Yes, I did not bring bandages with me. Blood, of course, will stop over time. It's our right leg, so it's not something we need to super be concerned about. Ignore. He did, for some reason, had 380 rounds on him. Um, be careful not to chamber it in a 9x18 
Makarov or other why pocket pistols weakest caliber to consider carrying I don't know why you would are they somehow okay uh, so we're bleeding we do not have the ability to make bandages we could pop in this building and see if they have bandages oftentimes look at that ask and you shall receive so we will disassemble the first aid kit and we will apply some of the bandages you fail to stop okay i didn't know that was possible we'll try again there we go and we will take the disinfectant with us uh, as well as the gauze i think is also a bandage Take the aspirin, take the tape, because the tape is valuable. Saline solution I could give a crap about, and the first aid booklet we already have. So, that was pretty easy. Just, uh, you know, find a first aid kit, no big deal. I guess we'll eat the plum while we're here. Why not? It's just going to go bad by the time we would come back to loot it anyway. All this drink stuff is frozen, so we're not going to worry about that. Is that a canning pot? Those have some, oh, it's a pressure cooker. Uh, so we don't want to be here. We, we just popped in to check and see if we could get some bandages. Oh, Avira. Hello, Zambi. So now we have medical supplies on our person, so we don't need to worry too much about the bites and scratches and things. Get around front here. I assume an alarm is going to go off, which is surely going to alert everything in the area to what we are doing. I did make a gun shop variant that, yeah, can't, can't pry this door. I did make a gun shop variant that has an open front entrance. Um, this was a while ago. I don't know if it's still in the game. It was uh, basically like people had come there to hole up during the, oh, that, oh, it literally just opened for us I've never this has always taken hours so I don't know why that went so quickly uh, okay can't crowbar this so we're gonna have to smash it which is gonna alert everything to our presence but we don't care because this is full just a crap ton of ammunition which is exactly what we need uh, particularly shotgun rounds interests me sounds like more are coming I guess we will grab the handguns, although they are of limited value to me. I'm going to start dumping things in our wheelbarrow. I don't know how you smashed... Okay, you just smashed through the bars, I guess. Or you didn't smash the bars, you just smashed the glass in the bars. We don't need... We should drop literally everything that we don't need. We'll keep the medical supplies on us, just in case. Don't need the tape, though. Um... No no again one more no okay now we'll stop you would think dropping things would take you a fraction of a second but okay uh nothing we'll drop the rest that we couldn't drop before don't need the weed voltmeter flashlight cordless drill chips okay head back in kind of want to be quick about this don't really want to be stuck standing around in here I don't know that the shotguns have super value because they're probably worse than the shotgun we already have throw these in here I mean I assume they are we can look at them side by side but I don't know the stats for weapons very well so it looks like the double barrel takes longer to shoot or to aim or however that works Holds two rounds instead of six. Same max range, same basic aim speed. Dispersion, 345. I think that means, because it's green, I think this means it's more accurate than the double barrel, which makes sense. Recoil is for some reason better on a double barrel shotgun rather than, you know, the law enforcement hunter shotgun. I just don't know where, like, where's the damage stats or are there... I mean, they bash for the same amount of damage, but I guess the damage is entirely dependent on the ammunition. 
even chance of... See, I don't know what most of these statistics mean. We're going to hang on to the Remington just because uh, I would rather have a named weapon over a double barrel, quote unquote, which is like a generic kind of weapon, because I would assume that the one with the proper name is probably based on a military or, well, it even says it's a police model, so presumably it's good for a reason. We could go back here and scope out. Sometimes there are guns or ammunition in the range. I think there's a locker down here. Actually, we're going to do that. Normally I wouldn't, but I want to see if we can rapidly cut through this again. Yeah, so we're instantly cutting through bars. That's not how it's supposed to be, so I might have to go point some stuff out. Earmuffs. I mean, that seems pretty good. Uh, and earplugs. It's always good to have a way to restrict your character's sight and sound for sleeping uh, in unfortunate places really would want the Smith and Wesson, but don't really want to drop anything. I mean, we, we don't need the proper earmuffs, but we'll drop everything and we'll go back for it. Keep the Remington. We've also have at this point trained our shotgun skill a little bit, so we're not like going to be terrible with the weapon. Anything else? It probably isn't anything on the range itself. Thought maybe there'd be spent casings around or something. I mean, I don't know why they would be inside the range, but maybe unable to return back down these stairs. No, I'm good. Looks like that might not be connected properly in the map gen. Okay, so not only did we get... I marked that as explored. Not only did we get a toolbox out of the hardware store, which is fantastic, but we also came up here and secured basically... I mean, I don't think we really found double lot shot. I think we found bird shot, which is not the same. <laughs> it's not really what we want. It is better than nothing, and it's not uh, super terrible as ammunitions go, but usually you find more shotgun shells in gun shops than this. Um, and I think we're gonna focus mainly on gun on shotguns, although we may branch out into handguns if we find like we have a surplus of that ammunition like I think this is nine millimeter uh, yeah and I think we have some nine millimeter that we picked up yeah so we might end up taking a handgun with us just for the sake of having it didn't find a Glock surprisingly they're like the number one gun I find it seems like we also have the Uzi which is nine millimeter uh, so we're gonna try to make it back to base without is there anything else? We're already out and about. Is there anything else we want to see? Clothing shop is not interesting. The ponds and pools are useless to me. Home improvement store. I mean, we already found... Ah, what would a home improvement store? Maybe some planters, maybe some seeds and stuff. Uh, you know, obviously there would be like uh, paint and probably some uh, lumber stuff. But that's not really interesting. A lot of clothing shops... Banks were not equipped to do a bank. Is this another gun shop? Um, I mean, it's pretty far, though. There is some stuff over here I would be interested in checking out, but not at the moment. I think we head back to base. In this one, we got what we were looking for. Let's just, just head home. We're going to go as far away. Okay, they're going to follow me anyway. I was going to say we're going to stay away from the pool on our trip back. This is slightly illuminated, which makes me think there was a shocker here that was illuminating the area. So we're going to move away from this. Yep. Yep, you're all pretty interested in me, I see. I'm going to walk as much as possible, same as before. I think we're going to cross to the opposite side of the street because as we headed this way uh, in the previous episode... We would have gotten some following us, and we don't really want to bump into them on our way back if we can avoid it. Nice and boring walk home. Oh, I walked right into you. Sorry, champ. You shouldn't have been there. Cash card. It's also displaying as charges instead of uh, proper money amounts. So that's actually uh, $211 out of what looks like, I don't know, $20 million? It's a lot of zeros. I can't really look at that and tell what it says. MP3 player we don't need. Uh, just going to head back. 
Do do do. It looks like there's a uh, proper armor or something on this vehicle. Might be a SWAT van or something. Four by four car. Okay. I thought maybe there'd be guns in the back or something that would interest us. That's a tough zombie. I thought it was a brute. We're gonna run. Where's our house? Still pretty far over. Yeah, we're gonna just run. Oh, that's a horde. Skate around them. Slow to a walk. Cross back over. Oh, tore up a vehicle right there. Maybe that's where we were seeing so many, uh, an influx of so many zombies was because they were outside as part of a horde. Someone said you can advance inventory up the stairs. I don't know how you do that. So we're just going to <laughs> pick things out and carry them up. I don't know. Maybe you can. Please don't step in fire. I guess we should take a look and see if we can do it. We'll eat a couple aspirin. We'll drop the weapons. Keep the Remington. Eat a couple aspirin. We'll see if we can advance the inventory of these up the stairs. Or maybe I was misinformed. So if we go slash all... Can we go, which way is up, up the stairs? We can't go up the stairs. Up the stairs? Um, yeah, I can't. I can't seem to, uh, maybe you can haul items up the stairs? Cannot haul inside of vehicles. Ah, uh, let's dump everything on the floor, I guess. Maybe we can haul them up. Hands are not free, so we'll haul. Oh, you totally can. Okay, so we'll just drag everything to our little unsorted pile, and we'll stop hauling. So that should be everything. Did we ever make a space for ammunition and things? Ammo we'll put next to the weapons. Don't want to put it next to the fire. Just in case, uh, I don't think you can cook off ammunition by being adjacent to a fire, but I'd really rather not tempt that and burn down my building. It did not put the guns on the weapons pile. Why? Is this not a weapons pile? Is this melee weapons pile? Uh, weapon. Okay, so maybe weapons and guns. Yeah, it looks like guns are separate. We will put them here. It looks like that was our trash pile, but we'll move the trash out of there. Sort everything out. Uh, nope, just happened to have... Oh, it's an empty lighter. That's fine. Just drop the empty empty lighter. Okay, I mean, that was a pretty, pretty satisfying trip. So let's take inventory. We got a grand, which is a good uh, rifle. Uh, I think this storm is also a rifle. I don't love this weapon. Uh, I'm not a big fan of 9mm. 30 6 is a lot harder to come by. Submachine gun, also 9mm. No real interest for me on that. This is we. This is the rounds that we picked up from that one corpse. Is the 380 ACP jacketed hollow points. Uh, 380 AC. So these, which it mentions specifically being like a 9mm. So I don't know that I like that either. So the Grand is really the only thing that I've found and we probably won't be finding very many Winchester rounds to go with it. Cur oh, it's currently loaded with Winchester. It can use 30-06 as well. Again, not the easiest ammunition to come across. Shotgun shells and, and 9mm are much more common. And they spawn in larger values. Uh, 9mm spawns in values of 50. Uh, or in quantities of 50, I should say. The birdshot, again, is passable. It's not really ideal uh, compared to the double lot rounds. We're going to unload most of these weapons just so we have... Oh, it's going to unload all their magazines. I would rather unload the ammunition straight away. That's fine, though. So we've unloaded everything. We'll drop the magazines. We're, well, now we have to go through and unload all the magazines by hand. Uh, which is fine. That's how it would be in real life. It's just kind of annoying. I do like games that include 
like proper reloading and things and we're going to drop the ammunition so what did we get out of that four more rounds we can put in our remington 10 millimeter i'm not sure what weapon we saw had 10 millimeter in it but that okay and we got quite a crap ton of nine millimeter yeah none of that's super exciting to me 762 is always good to have uh but it's not really ideal reload our remington one more we'll drop the random extra shot uh okay you know pretty happy with that haul this toolbox i can't tell you is invaluable so at this point we can harvest the frame get the crucible going we can get the tongs the tongs the crucible the anvil and we could uh start um uh, you know making something proper so let's see what we got here we can make an ice axe you wouldn't think that would be primarily bashing, but it is. It's actually much worse than the nail bat. Seems like steel knuckles, probably an unarmed weapon we really don't want to mess with. The the Nord. The nail sword, okay. Or Nord for short. Yeah, that's not going to do it for me. Not seeing anything that is like a high crafting forge recipe. Quarter staff is pretty good, but... We don't really want, it's again, it's worse than a nail bat. 25 with a plus three to hit versus 24 with a plus three to hit. Okay. Medium block ability. What does the quarter staff have? Rapid strike, sweep attack, and parry, which is the high block ability. So that's definitely what we're going to aim for for the, the time being. We could rush the sledgehammer, which is a crazy high bash weapon, but it has a plus zero to hit. I think I'd rather have a higher level in bashing and melee before I switch to something with no plus to hit. So I think this Iron Shod Quarterstaff is probably exactly what we want. Um, rapid Strike ability is very valuable. I, sweep Attack apparently downs them for up to two turns. Never ever used that or seen that in game, so I don't know how valuable that is. If it literally just knocks them down and they can't do anything for two turns, that's pretty fantastic. Uh, and then the high block ability, of course, is, is pretty good. I think our our uh, nail bat had medium block ability. So that seems like a great weapon for us to focus on. It is purely bash, unfortunately. So we're not going to get the benefit of this little bit of pierce damage. Um, you know, if we come up against something that has a super bash resistance, like uh, I imagine like the Kevlar zombies probably have really high bash resistance. Um so it's not, of course, perfect in every situation. No weapon is, but um, it's definitely where we're going to work towards, I think, until we at least find some forge books. Maybe we'll start looking for libraries and things. Uh, because if we go, I think we mostly, yeah, like we could make the steel spear with the forge, but that's using spears, which is kind of what we wanted to avoid in this playthrough. We wanted to do something different. Cutting Lajitang. I don't, I'm not familiar with that particular weapon. Uh, also, we don't have two chainsaws. I assume this is like the double bladed. I, mean, I assume it's just a, yeah, it's a quarter staff and two chainsaws. So it's just a stick with chainsaws duct taped to the ends, which is, I mean, do you, I guess. We could potentially forge some blades, I think, and make this, uh, which is a... Uh, it's actually not a reach attack weapon, which is odd because it's the length of a quarter staff. Uh, and it also seems like something that I would not do in real life because I'd end up cutting off my hands by mistake. The war scythe. Pull weapon. So it's, it's just a scythe that's made well for war. Yeah, I'm not super interested in that. Yeah, I guess most of the high-end forge recipes are locked behind recipe books, which is fine. We just unfortunately do not have any of them at the moment. Certainly something to keep an eye out for. Like I said, I want to jump into clearing labs as soon as possible. Uh, although it's only day two for some reason, so... Um, we were fine. Yeah, we found a map. So, I mean, it wouldn't be too hard to kind of take a stab at where we think labs would be like right here is probably a lab or military base because of how it dead ends kind of in the middle of nowhere possibly over here as well some of these uh random spokes that go off on their own 
I want to jump to labs pretty quickly, and once we get to labs, books shouldn't be a huge issue. Uh, unless we come across a library or something, I don't think we're going to be finding those anytime soon. So the quarter staff looks like where we're going to be where we're going to be focusing, and we'll do our best to to get that up and running as soon as possible. For now, I think that's going to do it for the episode. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, I, I mean, it was a good episode. We came away with some stuff that we really wanted. I feel pretty happy about it. Uh, thank you for joining me on this wonderful journey through the Cataclysm. Now, of course, we'll be back with more over the next couple of days, and I will see you in the next episode.